There are many great beach destinations in Mexico, and Mazatlan and Puerto Vallarta are two of the best. Located on Mexico's Pacific coast, both are wonderful vacation and residential destinations. However, they offer very different experiences, so making the choice between them is as important as it is difficult. From stunning beaches, mouth-watering restaurants, extensive activities, and booming nightlife, you will find incredible lifestyles in both cities. Can't decide where to go? We're going to show you the best of the best in both locations. We will point out the things they have in common and the main differences so you can easily make the decision for yourself. Which one is right for you? We are here to help you make the decision. Let's go experience and learn what to expect in both cities. Here's the basics. Population of Puerto Vallarta is around 220,000, where Mazatlan is over a half a million, making it more than double in size, yet Puerto Vallarta has the Costco. The climate is at opposite ends of the scale. Puerto Vallarta has more annual rainfall, making it tropical. The hills around Puerto Vallarta are thick, green, and lush, whereas Mazatlan is more like a desert, dry and brown, with cactus and very few hills. High season for both cities is in the winter. The climate is nearly perfect during high season. Summers here are brutal, and although Puerto Vallarta has higher temperatures in the summer, Mazatlan has more humidity, which makes them feel about the same. You will need air conditioning in the summer. Puerto Vallarta has many more international visitors, whereas Mazatlan is a beach destination for Mexicans. The downtown areas are very different. Puerto Vallarta has cobblestone streets and the Romantic Zone, which is far from romantic, whereas Mazatlan has Plazuela Machado, or Machado Plaza, the colonial town square with historic buildings, outdoor dining, and a large historic theater. Both destinations are safe, but you must always be vigilant about petty crime anywhere in the world. English is widely spoken in both cities. Getting there. If you are flying, both cities have airports, although Puerto Vallarta's airport is international, therefore has many more flights daily. If you are driving from the US or Canada, Mazatlan is about one day closer. The cities are in different time zones. Lodging. You will find all types of lodging in both cities, from all-inclusive mega resorts, luxury hotels, budget motels, and many private rentals. There is just a lot more of them in Puerto Vallarta, with the exception of private rentals. Sites like Verbo and Facebook Rentals have a much better selection in Mazatlan and the prices are considerably less. The major difference here is that Puerto Vallarta is littered with touristy hotels while all the touristy hotels in Mazatlan are located in the Golden Zone away from downtown. Transportation. Both cities offer everything from public transportation, taxi and Uber, shuttle buses for the airports, to private services including limousines. Mazatlan wins the fun transportation category with their popular taxis called pulmonias. If your lodging is strategically located, both cities are mostly walkable. I would like to share with you how important you are to us. Monkey, Pooperhead and I really appreciate you. If you are enjoying our video, please like, subscribe, and ring that bell so we may continue to make videos for you. Those three little things are more important than you think. And if you feel like growing with us, we have PayPal.me and a Patreon page, both traveling with dogs. Beaches. Most of Mazatlan's beaches are exposed to the Pacific Ocean, while Puerto Vallarta is located in Bahia Banderas or Banderas Bay. Puerto Vallarta has more powdery sand and slightly warmer water, but is significantly more crowded with tourists. Mazatlan has one long beach which has different sections, whereas Puerto Vallarta has several small, different beaches. Mazatlan has one of the longest beach walks in the world at 21 kilometers or 13 miles. All beach walks or boardwalks in Mexico are called the Malacón. Surfing and beach walks are better in Mazatlan. If you're looking for long beach walks, relatively uncrowded, go to Mazatlan. Ocean View. This category easily goes to Puerto Vallarta. 
PV is bordered by mountains to the east and its elevation rises rapidly as you go inland. This provides for a wealth of magnificent ocean and sunset views from a number of areas. In Mazatlan, the only way to get views like this is to have a place on the ocean or on one of the two small and crowded coastal hills. The sunsets are also very different. Puerto Vallarta has tropical sunsets, while Mazatlan has golden sunsets. Food. This is a tough one. Both cities have excellent food and restaurants on and near the beach. You will find a huge difference in price, location, number of clients, and quality of service. Puerto Vallarta has many more restaurants than Mazatlan, most geared towards tourists with prices and service to match. Mazatlan is the shrimp capital of Mexico and the restaurants here are created for locals with tourists coming second. From traditional breakfasts, open air restaurants on the beach to dine-in luxury, both cities have it all. My favorite is the street food and Mazatlan has the best selection for that. Street food is an economical and important delicious dining option for locals of all economic classes and a real treat for visitors alike. There is a wide variety of dishes and menus, from top quality mariscos and chicken, to hot dogs, steak tacos and burritos, quesadillas, corn dogs, tamales, fruit and juice carts, churros, ice cream, beverages. There is no limit to what is available from the street vendors, and it is all a real culinary treat. Don't forget, they cannot turn down your pets here. Here are a few of my favorite restaurants, beginning with Mazatlan. Hector's Bistro, located in the historical district, this place came as a recommendation from new friends, featuring European cuisine and desserts to die for. And I don't eat sugar. It is a little difficult to find and there was no parking. I suggest you take a cab or Uber when you dine here. Sorry, no pets. Turns out my favorite restaurant in Mazatlan did not show up in any of the lists. Before I give you the name, let me tell you how I found it. Pooperhead Monkey and I were searching for a parked car about a block off the Malacan when we saw an exterior door with a beautiful, I mean absolutely gorgeous young woman standing in front of a small podium. I didn't even realize it was a restaurant. As we approached, she was complimenting me on my well-trained dogs. I asked about the restaurant, looked quickly at a menu, and then made a reservation for the following evening. Turns out to be my favorite restaurant in Mazatlan and possibly all of Mexico. It is called Casa Mayora. Do not miss this place. Also, no pets. Puerto Vallarta has so many options. Even after three months, I had not scratched the surface. My first recommendation is a little different because it's not a type of food I eat frequently. It is Los Muertos Brewing Company. It is a microbrewery, more than a restaurant, but I picked this place because it has great pizza, and great pizza is difficult to find in Mexico. They cannot afford cheese. The cervezas were great too, and they love dogs. My second recommendation is El Andariego superb food for every meal of the day, reasonable prices, and above average service. Pets welcome. I ate here six times and loved every meal. Activities. Both cities have many water activities which include sailing, booze cruises, scuba and snorkeling, sport fishing, Mazatlan winds, surfing, swimming, whale watching, golfing, jet skiing, etc. Mazatlan even has an incredible aquarium. Puerto Vallarta wins this one because it is tourist-centered, so it has many other activities like zip lining, fly boarding, swimming with dolphins, bungee jumping, etc. PV also has jungles and waterfalls nearby. Culture. I give this one to Mazatlan. With the Angela Peralta Theater, a symphony orchestra, chamber music groups, the Sunday Concert Series, and Friday Art Walk, Mazatlan offers plenty of cultural activity. 
Mazatlan's Carnival celebration is the third largest in the hemisphere after Rio de Janeiro and New Orleans Mardi Gras. The historic center is large, active, and in very good shape. It's undergone a dramatic restoration in recent years and is still improving. Plazuela Machado, the colonial town square, is unlike anything I've seen, with its historic buildings, outdoor dining, and large classical theater. The historic center is miles from Mazatlan's main tourist area known as the Golden Zone. The old-fashioned, non-tourist, city central market is still thriving, as is the newer Saturday Farmer's Market, the huge flower market, and the bustling shrimp market. Both cities have lots of art and sculptures, but PV has more. You can spend an entire day just walking, admiring, and taking selfies with all the art in PV. Nightlife. Mazatlan el lunes. Mazatlan is all about partying on weekends. Although everything is open during the week, there are very few people out Monday through Thursday. This is a working city when the tourists aren't around. The same empty places I saw during the week were packed on the weekends. Nightlife in Mazatlan cannot compete with large cities like Mexico City, Buenos Aires, Miami, or Bangkok. It's just that La Rumba in Mazatlan is far better than you would expect in a city of only a half a million people. If you're looking to party in a city by the beach that hasn't been invaded by foreign tourism, then Mazatlan might be the top spot in all of Mexico. Here's why. There aren't a ton of clubs in Mazatlan, but there are certainly are some big ones. Some even bigger than what you'll find in Mexico City. There's places like Joe's Oyster Bar that are massive and get filled to the brim nearly every weekend. Unexpected for a small city by the beach. You won't find many foreigners partying hard in Mazatlan. The cruise ships come in, but they're only here for the day, gone by night. Mazatlan is a party town for locals and the local cities nearby. This beach city is a favorite for people driving in from Durango, Culiacan, and other towns and cities nearby. They come down to the beach to let loose. It's super inexpensive to party in Mazatlan. Unless you're going to the really high-end clubs, I found drinks inexpensive throughout the city. It all depends on how you want to party. Unless you are in the furthest north part of Mazatlan, you're never more than a few minute Uber or a cab ride from any of the major nightlife spots. This makes it really easy to bar and club hop. Nightlife here begins late. Not many go out before 11 p.m. It does not begin to happen until midnight. Many of the places stay open late until 4 a.m. Nightlife in Puerto Vallarta is geared toward tourists and happens nightly. They have some very big and fancy nightclubs here and it can get very expensive even for Mexico. I'm not that much of a clubber, but if you come to Puerto Vallarta, you cannot miss Strana. It's expensive, but once you enter, it's like going to the theater, a rave, a movie, and a party all at the same time. Regardless of your age and musical taste, make sure you experience this nightclub. There are many nightclubs in PV, so if you want to party, this is a great place to come. PV has a great live rock club in the Zona Romantica called Roxy Rock House. Fantastic live music, they play everything from Prince to Metallica, reasonably priced drinks, and it's fun to watch the drunk gringos. Personally, I prefer the nightlife of Mazatlan locals over the PV tourists, but they are both fun. For my friends from the rainbow flag community, Puerto Vallarta has a very large gay community. For my rainbow flag friends, here are the recommendations. Puerto Vallarta wins this category for sure. PV is known to be the most gay friendly city in Mexico, but PV is more than just gay friendly, and the lifestyle is more than just accepted or welcomed. You'll see same-sex couples, 
both male and female, of all ages and nationalities. There is a gay community in Mazatlan too, but they're not as open and I haven't seen much PDAs or public displays of affection. Mazatlan is more of a Mexican destination than an international resort, and their traditional conservatism shows in this area. However, I do have two recommendations since most of the clubs closed during COVID. In no particular order are the Lollipop Club. Whether you're gay or straight, the combination of male and female go-go dancers, together with a throbbing mix of pop and electronica in Spanish and English, will have you partying all night. Pee Pee Club, definitely a lively party here at the welcoming Pee Pee Club. Mazatlan's longest running gay club is located in Zona Dorada. Drag nights, pop and electronic nights, go-go dancers, and much more good times. My final opinion, I love both of these cities, and I think you should experience them them both. It's impossible to understand a city in just five days or a week, so go for as long as possible. And if you only have a week, that's fine too. Go have some fun. Puerto Vallarta's popularity means that its prices are some of the highest in Mexico, particularly during holidays when the area can get quite crowded. Not only is Mazatlan much less expensive, but is actually a significantly cheaper destination. Overall, Puerto Vallarta is just plain nicer than Mazatlan, which can be rough around the edges in some areas. I love Puerto Vallarta, but it is a little too touristy for me. There are many expensive restaurants, but expensive does not mean the best. I have been disappointed. I was never disappointed in Mazatlan. If you like touristy stuff like beach vendors and tours, bottle service and valet, organized activities, tropical jungles and views, and money is no object for your vacation, then head to Puerto Vallarta. On the other hand, if you like value for your money, hanging with the locals, soaking in the culture, walking miles on uncrowded beach, and living like the locals, then Mazatlan is your place. Thank you for watching. Pooperhead Monkey and I really do appreciate you. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and boop that bell. And if you feel like growing with us, we have PayPal.me and Patreon page, both traveling with dogs. Links below in the description. Que te vaya bien!